friends, Shayla here, and this is part three of my February TBR. So this is everything else I'm going to be reading in the month of February. If you have not checked out my previous two TBRs, they will be linked down below. So there is the 24-hour Manga Love Readathon TBR, as well as the Contemporary Athon TBR. I will be daily vlogging for both of these readathons. So definitely stay tuned for lots of vlogs happening in the month of February. I know my friend Bizarre over at Bizarre Individual will be super excited about that because he seems to really love vlogs. So let's go ahead and dig right into everything else that I'm planning on reading in that month. And this does not include any of my releases on my radar books because those I'm not sure which ones I'll be picking up because I'm going to go broke if I buy them all. So you'll just have to watch my wrap ups to see if any of those make it into this list. So because it's February, I do have a decent pile of smutty romance books, and this does not include the ones that I'll be picking up, but yes. So I'm going to go over the five other books that are not smexy books, and we'll go from there. So the first one that I'm going to mention is the Tell It Again book club book for the month of February, and that is 96 Words for Love by Rachel Roy and Ava Dash. Now in this one, this is an Indian mythology inspired love story and I'm not super familiar with the lore or anything, but this is one that we decided to choose because we thought it would fit in well with February, and we just thought it would be a really good time. So I am definitely excited to be picking this one up. I am so looking forward to digging into this. It just looks like it's gonna be a good time, and I will try to leave a link down below so you can get a better description of this book. But yes, I am just really excited that we chose this one. Now, next on this list is Princess of Thorns by Stacey J. I do know that this is a Sleeping Beauty retelling. This is one that's been on my shelf for years, and I keep putting it off and not getting to it. So I'm hoping in the month of February to get to it. If you don't see me reading it, say something to me, because I need to stay accountable to someone. Next is The Bird and the Blade by Megan Bannon. This is one that I did not get to in 2018. It came in one of the page habit boxes that I got, so it is annotated. But yes, I am, I've am. i heard decent things about this. This is an Asian-inspired young adult fantasy, so I really want to dig into this. I think it's going to be something that I'll end up enjoying. I just need to sit down and read it. Next, we have a booktube darling, and it's an older booktube darling, so if you've been around booktube a while, you've probably already read this but I am a slacker, and even though it's been on my shelf for a long time, I keep putting it off. And so I'm not going to, I'm making myself accountable right here. And that is A Man Called Ove by Frederick Bachman. I have not read any Fred Frederick Bachman yet. Yes, I know, I'm awful or something. There's something wrong with me because I haven't read anything and all of my friends love Frederick Bachman. So I've decided to give this one a try. After this, I'm probably gonna dig into something like Baritone or my grandmother told me to tell you she's sorry or like one of his others. They're all loved, so I will definitely be digging into this as long as I enjoy this first one. The people who recommend it, we tend to have similar tastes in books, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love it. I just need to sit down and read it. And last but not least for the non-Smexy books is Throne of Jade by Naomi Novik. I did read His Majesty's Dragon in January. I ended up really enjoying it, so I do plan on continuing on to Throne of Jade, which is book two in the Temeraire series. So yeah, that's that plan. I'm not gonna tell you anything cause spoilers. All right, on to the Smexies. All right, all of these from here on out will be smutty romance novels. And if that's not your thing, I'm really sorry. Go check out one of my other videos where I don't talk about it quite so much like my manga ones. But anyways, so let's dig in. So the first one I've got here is Dragon Soul by Katie McAllister. I have been thoroughly invested in her Dragon World series. There's another book coming out in March. It goes along with Memoirs of a Dragon Hunter. So this is the last one in her like Dragon Falls trilogy and then the other series has a new book coming out. So I do plan on reading that. I've already gotten an e-copy of that one so I might read that during Contemporary Thun. But it's not really contemporary. There's fantasy elements so probably not. But anyway. So yes, I'm gonna be reading Dragon Soul which is the third book in that trilogy. It looks like we're gonna be getting Sophia's story in this one so. It'll be a good time. I have the next three books in the Dragon, or not Dragon, in the Dark Hunter series that I plan on reading. So the first one is going to be Time on Time. And then we've got Styx, which is a nice little brick. And then Son of No One. Those are the next three in the Dark Hunter series. 
I do really love this series, so I'm hoping to get to them in the month of February. It's my excuse to read smexy things and people don't judge me nearly as harshly as when I read them other times. So yeah, so that's kind of the plan for these. I also like these because I can bring them to work because the covers are so like nondescript that people are just going to think they're a fantasy novel, not paranormal smutty romance. So anyways, yeah. Excited to dig back into the series. And then I've got three more that I'm hoping to get to. So I've got A Scott in the Dark, which is book two in the Scandal and Scoundrel series. The first one was a Hades and Persephone retelling in this series. So I'm interested to see um, where this one lands. It's got a Highlander element to it, which I totally get along with. I like my Highlander books lately. So, and then the last two are Highlander books. So we've got the Scots Bride and Laird of the Black Isle. These are in the same series by Paula Quinn. These are from, I think they're called the Highlander Air novels. Yeah, they're the Highlander Air novels. So I read Highlander Ever After um, in December in this same series and I really enjoyed it. So I'm excited to get the backstories of some of these because I jumped in pretty late in the series. So yes, I'm excited for these. So my friends, those are all of the things that I plan on reading in February that are not part of an existing TBR for a readathon. Again, those readathons will be linked, uh, those readathons, words, Shayla, words. Those TBRs will be linked down below. So definitely go and check those out. Thanks again so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one.